sent me a ponytail. This is a ponytail. Bitch, I got a ponytail. Yaga, I'm joking. <laughs> Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. So for today's video, we are doing a get ready with me and I decided today to do like this really cute pink glam and like a sleek ponytail look, you know, with these bundles right here hooked up from My Lisa Hair. And they sent me like four bundles and a closure to make a wig and stuff, but I figured I would just use like two bundles to like attach to my ponytail, which I'm like obsessed with. This is like their body wave hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I attach these bundles to my head top you know we are glamming up quite a bit today and we are talking about quite a few things and whatnot so sit back relax let's get into today's video sorry about the sun glare right now um the sun is like passing by it's 12 o'clock now so it gets like high up and it just kind of just sits here for a minute um hopefully it'll pass i have natural breasts and i'm not wearing a bra so my breasts are like sitting the way that they naturally sit Anyways, I've already done my brows and I'm gonna start off with applying some concealer on my eyelid. This is the Sleek Light Proof Concealer. Sleek just sent me the whole range of the new concealer and I really like the consistency, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely better than their concealers that they already had out in the drugstore. So yeah, good on you Sleek. I'm gonna use Beauty Bakery's Flower Powder um, just to set that concealer in place, you know. I'm wearing pink today so I'm gonna do pink on my eyelid. I did it the other day and I really fucked with it so I'm gonna do it again today because <laughs> i'm a basic bitch you know but, uh. beauty bay sent me my mua's life to drag eyeshadow palette guys i know there's been a lot of drama with um certain beauty gurus but i mean I'm, I'm using this for the pink most of the time i'm on youtube i watch david dobrik and like breakfast club and old beyonce performances and obviously my friends so i'm not really like in tune with what goes on in the community you know please don't I'm just here to blend eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with Sickening and I'm gonna work this baby in my crease. It's been a while. Should we do it? Yes. Ring me alarm. I've been through this alone, but I'll be down if I see another chick on your arm. I've definitely had episodes where I've shared with you guys, like, oh, you know, I'm not really feeling myself, guys, like, defo for sure like i wanted to be honest like for the last two years i've been struggling with like a lot of stuff i don't know if you guys remember but last year it was my mom's 50th birthday and we did a birthday dedication for her and um, we were interviewing family members for my mom's video i did a whole vlog on this by the way but i didn't put the video in the vlog when i was meeting with my family and stuff they were sharing a lot of stories about you know uh, my mom and obviously like my dad as well and i just started to feel weird vibes with like like the men in my life oh the sun's gone now <laughs> i'm gonna go in now with the color snatched it's like a deep berry color i'm gonna work this baby in my crease now and i'm gonna use a matte 224 brush you know because that's what all the beauty gurus use i just have been looking at like the men in my life differently and obviously my dad's a man i don't know i i, I knew i had to like deal with whatever i had inside of me but i was just being too much of a coward with like dealing with it so i kind of like avoided my dad for like a good year my dad didn't know <laughs> my dad does not know any of this like he doesn't know i don't know i would talk to like my male friends about like how i would feel and stuff and you know like they always gave me really sound advice i just really was just like no like i just don't like i just don't want to deal with this basically i've been feeling this way for about a year if you've been following me for a while you know like i'm obsessed with my family so this is like the first year since i was like kicked out it's been a good like over 10 years now this is the first year where i've like been so distant from my family so tough aside from like you know the family stuff you know work started like picking up and creative blocks and i had a depression i put on weight it was just a weird time guys i just want to say and I've prayed so much this year. I knew God was there because I would always like come out of like shit moments, but I just did not feel the connection that I've always felt. Recent times, life's been really lit. I finally got to a place where like I could face the truth about certain things and I got to a place where I, I could take care of myself like externally, internally, mentally, spiritually. Like obviously when I first started YouTube, um, I was like, you know, 24. 
I'm 27 now. My confidence with like so many things has just grown and like I've been blessed to be around people that live a very authentic life, especially being so like different from the norm. Me being around that just relit really that confidence I've always had in myself. Cause I've always been pretty confident, but I feel like this year I've been super insecure. Like I'm shy sometimes, I'm socially awkward, but I've never really been like an insecure person. Living your life authentically when you're like not society's norm. Yo, like that is like super inspirational. It's so beautiful to me. I just love that. I'm like so much more confident than I was like a year ago or this year in fact. I confronted the issue that I had or the feeling that I had about, you know, my parents and my dad and stuff and um my dad never did anything mind you like i love him to bits like you guys know sometimes i literally feel like we forget that our parents are humans as well like they had their own lives before they had you know us and like i don't know it's pretty naive for me to say especially like at the age that i'm at now oh i got like makeup on my jumper and this is a dry clean oh! And it's gonna distract me throughout the video, so not okay. Let's try not to look at it. I'm gonna go in with some concealer on the lid. If you have been following me for a while and you've just been thinking like, oh my gosh, Drea, there's something going on with you. That's basically what I've been dealing with. You know, I'm like a big family person and I love hanging out with my family and you have not seen my family on my channel for a while. As hard as that is to share, that's my truth. And I, I don't want anyone to use that against me because I really hate it so much when like I share aspects of my life on the platform and then people try and like use that to like prove points that are completely irrelevant to the points that they're trying to make please no, but you guys are super sweet anyways so i don't have to worry about that anyways i'm gonna go in and use this shade kai kai and i'm gonna pop that all on the lid mm -mm. my family really remind me of what love is and i need love to function in life it's like my food it's like my oxygen i know i'm good now mentally and stuff because obviously every time i film i always say my room's so messy yo my room has been super tidy as of late and i feel like when people say oh your room represents your mind that is so true and also like oh my days i've been dealing with like wanting to move out really and truly the smart thing for me to do would be stay where i'm at now because my living situation is sweet and my location where i live is so lit but the thing is I've now made my sleep space, my workspace, and it's really hard for me to relax when I'm at home in my room and stuff because my room is where I work. It's just been so hard, so confusing, and I just don't know what's going on. But to be honest, God is good and we'll figure it out. I'm using Kat Von D's Lock It Foundation. I love that song so much. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm gonna use this concealer, Nabla concealer. I got it off eBay. So I'm gonna actually go in with this and then mix it with something else. I really like how golden it is. So baby, 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 won't you please find your way back to me? Woo! Listen, when you do your highlight, yeah? Change ma. That's all I'm gonna say. Change ma. I'm gonna use Makeup Rev Conceal and Define. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Actually, let me play that. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite tunes right now. Now what I'm gonna do is blend out this concealer a little bit more. Just do a little bit of brightening right underneath the eye here. I need like a creamy concealer right on the under eye. Recently my makeup's been looking 
kind of pearl because I ran out of Sasha Buttercup. Because I'm so like deep, I need a yellow powder. Otherwise, everything else just looks a bit too like flashback Mary. No, I'm gonna just drag this. Patiently waiting for my demise Cause my success can't be quantified Fuck you Fuck you You're cool Fuck you I'm out Alright so now I'm just blending out my highlight Cause I feel like it was sitting on my face for a minute A lot of you guys have actually clocked that I've lost a little bit of weight And some of you guys Well actually to be honest I've been really loud about it <laughs> I'm not like skinty, but like I'm not as thick as I was before. In the summer, I was super, super thick. Like I was, woo! I've lost a total of 25 pounds. Even just five pounds alone on me makes such a big difference. I love you guys want me to do like a weight loss video, like how did I lose the weight? But I feel like now that I'm at my regular weight, if I lose like more weight, then I'll do one. But to be honest, I just haven't had an appetite. I don't really feel like I've been doing anything. I just feel like I've just kind of like dropped it. Defo did say in my last Q&A, like once I get my mental right, the weight's gonna come off. I'm wearing a 360 wig right now. I will probably will do a video on it later on. Kind of just want to do like a low pony. I literally styled my 360 wigs the way I did like when my hair was like out and relaxed. Did the big chop like three years ago. My hair is like 4C natural. Just gonna quickly plait this really quick. I still see shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you, and I cannot change you, so I must replace you. We got some bundles from My Lisa Hair. My Lisa Hair are the plugs. Easy you said, and I'm not what you were. The one listening to my heart instead of my head. You found another one, but I am the better one. I hope that you don't hit me. <laughs> they sent me like four bundles of like body wave hair. I love ponytail vibes so I thought I would use these bundles you guys must know this technique right um I've got a pin here that I've attached to the track I'm gonna pin this in the middle of the plait like here if you can see my kitchen like I'm so sorry I'm gonna wrap this around my ponytail keep wrapping it till we get to the top of the pony and then I'm just gonna pin this into the pony. Now that we've got the hair like positioned, pin this right at the top, and then we're gonna just wrap this around this bit here. I love a good ponytail, you know, but I feel like ponytails only look good on me when I'm not like super thick. Now that I'm out here trying to be a skinny legend, I'm not a skinny legend, I wish. I feel like just ponytails just look a lot better now. And yeah, man, that's it, ponytail done. I feel like sometimes, yeah, like when you get these like 360 wigs, they're not as long as you want or they're not as full as you want. Just adding like hair to it whenever you want. I just feel like it's just an easier look. So yeah, I love this hair a lot. The body wave just sitting nice, eh? Nice! I'm Argan Oil from ORS for all hair types. Boop, boop. And we're just gonna run this through. Run your fingers through some care, 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 care. And hopefully that makes it nice and shiny and like luxurious looking. Look, look, look at that, but oh, look at that ponytail, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to play like the most empowering song for me personally. To all my motherfucking getting money hoes versus selling clothes and all my ghetto bitches in the projects ever made in the history of like the world coming through like bulldozers no we ain't sober i'm like the biggest little kim fan some bitches know better than to start shit niggas love a hard bitch why not get up in your niggas ass i have felt this way about this woman make it in an enema make it clap please sprinkle it with vinegar since i was a little girl kidnap the sailor i must have been like 10 at least 10, 9. Make him call his wife and say he never coming home. We grew up in the 90s, we grew up on Bad Boy. She got him in the zone, beating they dicks. Even got some of these straight chicks rubbing they ticks. And little Kim was like the only female rapper in the group. And I was obsessed with her. Queen bitch, what did you know can fuck it like this? I just loved like her looks from a young age, her confidence, and I just was so obsessed with like things that she would say that just wasn't what women would usually say. I treat y'all niggas like y'all treat us. No doubt, hey, I'll come here so I can. Positive value, bitch. 
she just used to say things that were just so different from like most female rappers at the time. Nigga, fuck you. No, fuck you, bitch. Who are you talking to? Because y'all niggas ain't shit. And if I was a dude, I'd tell y'all to suck my bitch. I don't know if you guys are ready. Niggas ain't shit, but they still can trick. All they can do for me is suck my clip. I'm jumping the fuck up back the rock come Thinking they gonna get some pussy but they get none Nigga fuck you Anyways, um, so right now I'm just bronzing up my face with uh, what's left of my covergirl bronzer mm -hmm. Lil Kim is literally my life and I know you guys are probably thinking like Drea literally is that what you listen to and like yes that is guys i'm so sorry like sometimes certain songs just kind of like give me like mad confidence oh by the way this mascara is everything and more it's the Stila mascara and it's just so good oh my gosh like it's literally so good by the way i always look at my number twos after i do them because you need to know what's coming out of your body like i know this is probably going to be so tmi i'm so sorry but do you guys know what a ghost poo is? I'm my waterline with brown liner. Um, but yeah, no, listen, so ghost poos, they're basically like, you know when you look back at the toilet and then there's nothing there? Guys, it fucks with my brain. That is so funny. That's TMI. I know you guys probably didn't click on for that type of content today, but that's what's happening on this channel. Judge me. This is my freaking jam. Now I don't want to put pressure on you If you don't think you're ready Girl, I only put pressure on you If you let me I'm using Kat Von D's liquid liner, the tattoo liner. May the wings of your liner always be even. Because mine certainly aren't. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the colour Snatched and just work this on my lower lash line real quick and then use a little bit of the Kai Kai shade smudge that out now I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes real quick I feel like using a little bit of the colour the shade Legendary in my inner corner but I've used this shadow before and it stings my eyes when it goes in so I'm just gonna put a little bit oh my gosh see already stinging my eyes oh my gosh and maybe bring this up onto the lid. Just gonna set some Beauty Bakery underneath my eyelids. But this is the flower powder, just to kind of get that extra bright look, you know, just underneath the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna use this L'Oreal chocolate lipstick, and this is in the shade 70% Yum. And then I'm gonna use this like caramel color, and this is Ginger Bomb. Mmm, that's a nice nude. And then this is the sleek, locked up, super precise lip liners. And I'm going to use this like to line my lips now. I know, so backwards. I know. I use lip liner to clean up and like define the lip. I got this Ofra blush set. I'm going to use like a baby doll color, like this one right here. I know some people are not really into blush, but I low key am. So. <laughs> These are Makeup Geek's new highlight pans and this is the shade Firework, beautiful bronze colour. I'm going to use this right here. I do like highlight on my chest though. Love a good highlight on my chest. This is Gerard Cosmetics Slate All Day Setting Spray. We're going to use this to set my face. I didn't even shake it. This is a coconut mist, I think. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this get ready with me. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, let me know some of your thoughts and opinions on some of the stuff that we talked about today. The bundles and stuff are going to be linked down below in the description box and like all the products I pretty much use today will be linked as well with the shades and stuff like that. But yeah, I love you guys to the main of back. You guys know this. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye guys. I'm a sick fuck, I like a quick fuck I like my dick suck, I buy you a sick truck I buy you some new tips, I get you and it tuck What was I saying? Whee! That collarbone! <laughs> I'm so not a eye Jimmy, like Dreya, is this literally what you eat?
disgusting. No, no. All I want to do is get my pussy sucked. Count a million bucks in the back of an armor truck.